let's look at the mole concept. To make it clear, let's look at the concept of relative atomic masses and molar masses. Let's consider the single atom of nitrogen. It has a relative atomic mass of 14 atomic mass units, which I'll be calling ammo from this point. An atom of oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16 ammo. An atom of fluorine has a relative atomic mass of 18 ammo. These single atoms of each of these elements are quite minute. We can neither see them nor feed them, and hence it's very difficult to use them for studies. And that brings us to the concept of molar masses. Now, the molar mass of an atom of nitrogen is 14 grams, and that is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of nitrogen. The molar mass of a single oxygen atom is 16 grams, and this is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of oxygen. The molar mass of fluorine atom is 18 grams, and this is equivalent to 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of fluorine. Now, these molar masses are big enough. We can feed them, we can see them, and hence, we can use them in the study of chemistry because they are what? Big enough and tangible. Now, that brings us to the concept of the moon. What is the mole? Simply put, the mole is the amount of substance that contains the same number of particles as the number of atoms in carbon-12. And this number is called the Avogadro's number. It's equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to power 23. I repeat, the amount of substance that contain the same number of particles as the number of atoms in carbon-12. Now, let's try to understand the Avogadro's number. That is 6.022 times 10 raised to power 23. If I ask you how many items are there in one dozen of pen, and one dozen of pan is equivalent to how many, you should be able to answer me. Of course, you will say one dozen of pen is equal to 12 pens, and one dozen of pans is equivalent to what? 12 pans. One dozen of anything is equivalent to 12 items of that thing. It's a standard. So also the molar mass of anything is equal to 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. And note that one mole of any atom is equal to the molar mass. And so, if we say one mole of nitrogen is equal to what? 14 grams. One mole of oxygen is equal to what? 16 grams. Now, if I ask you that one mole of nitrogen weighs what? Of course, you should be able to tell me that one mole of nitrogen weighs 14 grams. Now, how many atoms, if I should ask you that, how many atoms are there in one mole of nitrogen? Of course, you should be able to tell me that there are 14, there are 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of what? Nitrogen. In what one mole? 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms of nitrogen in one mole. Because molar mass is equal to what? 6.022 times 10 raised to the power 23 atoms. And one mole of any atom is equal to the molar mass. Note, mole is equal to mass all over molar mass. And the mole also is equivalent to number of particles all over what? 6.022 times 10 raised to the power what, 23. These two equations are very important. Example, calculate the number of moles in 32 grams of oxygen atom. Calculate the number of moles in 32 grams of what? Oxygen atom. Note, remember that number of moles N is equal to mass of all over molar mass. The molar mass of oxygen is 32 grams. 
then from number of moles will be equal to what the mass 32 all over the molar mass which is what 16 and that will give us what two moles of oxygen if it's your first time on this channel please click on the subscription button or follow us if you're on facebook let's continue example two how many atoms are in 3.5 moles of ion fe do not forget that number of moles equals to number of atoms all over 6.022 times raised to times 10 raised to power 23. that means that if you make number of atoms the subject of formula that will be equals to number of moles times 6.022 times 10 raised to power 23. number of moles is 3.5 times Avogadro's number that means that number of atoms will be equals to 2.1 times 10 raised to power what 24 atoms 